chica. We're going to continue looking at th similar triangles. In this video, we're going to focus on the theorems of similar triangles. Uh, and that's just basically what information do I need to know in order to conclude that two triangles must be similar. As a recap, remember that similar triangles have all the same angles and all the same side ratios. And another way of saying that we, would you probably say they're the same triangle, but just one's bigger uh, and one's smaller. So our first theorem of a similar triangle is called angle-angle. And basically what that means is that two triangles that have two angles in common must be similar. Now let's take a look at an example here. So here we have, two, uh, we have two different triangles. And we can take a look at their angles. Well, the bigger one over here, triangle ABC, has an angle of 35 degrees. The smaller triangle, A prime, B prime, C prime, also has an angle of 35 degrees. We can also see the big one has an angle of 105 degrees and the small one has an angle of 105 degrees. What that means is by theorem angle-angle, because these two triangles have two angles in common, that they must be similar. So what that means is that the third angle would also be the same and they'd be, the sides would be proportional at the same ratio. We're going to look at that in a, in a minute. In terms of the third angle, uh, we can actually figure out what the third angle is if we wanted. Um, as you probably recall, a triangle uh, has 180 degrees, so all the internal angles of a triangle add up to 180. We have 105 plus, uh, plus 35 is 140, so in order to get 180, our third angle here must be 40 degrees. And down here, same thing, 105 and 35 is 140 plus 40 degrees would give us 180. So even though uh, all three of the angles are the same, we actually only need to know two in order to conclude that the triangles are similar. Let's take a look at one more quick example. So again, here we've got two triangles. Uh, we can take a look at them, quickly note that they each have an angle of 100 degrees. That's fine. Now, first note, you might think, well, wait a minute, this has an angle of 50 and the other angle here is 30, so they're not similar. However, we can apply the same um, concept that we know a triangle has 180 degrees. Since this angle is 100 and this one's 50, angle D up here would have to be 30 degrees so that all the angles add up to 180. And now we can see that they both share an angle of 30 degrees so that they must um, be similar as well. And again, this angle down here would have to be 50 degrees. So that one's pretty easy. All right, our second theorem of uh, similar triangles is called side angle side. And what that means is that two triangles have two sides proportional at the same ratio and congruent angles between those sides must be similar. A little, a little bit more complicated, but let's take a look at some examples. So we've got two triangles. The first part we'll take a look at is the angle part. So it says it's got to have the same angle between the sides. Well, here's an angle of 35 degrees and here's an angle of 35 degrees. So the angle part is kind of taken care of. Next thing it says is we need to have two sides that are proportional at the same ratio. All that means is I'm going to take a side on the big triangle, its matching side on the smaller triangle, and divide them. And uh, if, I, if I have similar triangles, then the, uh, all the pairs of sides will be proportional at the same ratio. So I'm going to take, here's one side, AB, and that would match up to A prime, B prime on my smaller triangle. And then our other side, 10 centimeters here would match up to our side B prime, C prime of 5 centimeters. So <coughs> let's just check out the ratios then. So I'm going to take AB and divide that by A prime, B prime. And let's get see they're, they're kind of matching sides. So I'd have 7 divided by 3.5. And you can use your calculator if you need for that. I'm just going to do that in my head. 7 divided by 3.5 is 2. So these two sides are proportional at a ratio of 2. Or in other words, the longer side is twice the smaller side. That makes sense. And if these triangles are to, to, hit, to be similar, then our other pair of sides must be proportional at the same ratio. And you may be able to do that in your head now. But BC divided by B prime, C prime. I should actually put my little lines over top of these so we know they're line segments. And that would be 10 divided by 5, which also equals 2. So that works out. So we go back to side angle side. I have two sides proportional at the same ratio. Yes, that works. This side is twice this side, and this side is twice this side. And then the same angle between those two sides. So my 35 degrees is contained between those two sides. Same for my smaller one. So these two triangles must be similar by theorem side angle side. Let's look at one more example. 
All right, again, two sides. I'm given an angle of both of them, and I'm given uh, two side lengths of each. So we can take a look at our angle first. Here's an angle of 100 degrees, another angle of 100 degrees. All right, that's easy enough. Let's look for the matching uh, sides. Well, 8 is the longer one here, and 6 is the longer one here, so they would have to match up, and that means 4 and 3 would end up matching up. All right, so let's check out our ratios. I'm not going to do all, all the writing here. We'll just do this a little bit quicker. So 4 divided by 3. You could also do 3 divided by 4. I'll take out my calculator for this one, clear that off. 4 divided by 3 gives us 1 and a third, or 1.3 repeating. All right, so we'll write that down. So 4 divided by 3 equals 1.33. And now we can take a look at uh, our other side. So our other side ratio, we'd have 8 divided by 6. 8 divided by 6. And again, we'll bring up the calculator. 8 divided by 6. That also equals 1.33. All right, so... When we take a look, we've got two side lengths that are proportional at the same ratio. This one is three quarters the size of this one, or 1.33 times uh, 6 gives us 8. Same idea for the other one. However, what we'll notice is it's got to be the angle between those sides. And when we take a look down here, we'll notice that's not the case. Here's one side, here's the other side. The 100 is between it on this side. But it's not between it on these sides. So even though these two triangles might look similar, we cannot conclude that they are. And uh, in this case, they actually wouldn't be. So that can be a little bit uh, trickier. All right, let's take a look at our last theorem of similar triangles. So the third one we're going to take a look at is called side, side, side. You can probably start figuring out what it means now. But it means that two triangles that have three sides proportional at the same ratio must be similar. So in this case, I don't need any angles. And again, we'll take a look at a couple examples. So I'm going to go through. And let's match up our sides, all right? AB, here we have 6.3 here. That would match to A prime, B prime, which would be 3. We would have BC, 10.5, or the hypotenuse. That's going to match up to 5 centimeters. And uh, I'll do the third one with a highlighter here. And then we've got 2.5 here for A prime, C prime, which matches to 5.25. So next thing we need to do is, uh, is check out our ratios. All right, well... We've got 10.5 uh, divided by 5. And again, I'm not going to put in all the side lengths like we did before. We'll speed this up a bit. And we'll bring out our calculator. Let me slide over here for this one. So we have 10.5 divided by 5. And that means they're proportional at a ratio of 2.1. So the small side, if I multiply by 2.1, that would tell me, pardon me, small side times 2.1 would tell me the bigger one. Let's check uh, our next piece. All right, we've got 6.3 divided by 3. All right, let's go back to our calculator. 6.3 divided by 3. Oh, once again, proportional as side ratio of 2.1. And we'll check our last our last one. Maybe I'll, I'll, I'll do these ones in, in black. I guess I'll match it up a little better. So our third one, we've got 5.25 divided by 2.5 and we'll go to our calculator 5.25 divided by 2.5 and once again it gives us a ratio of 2.1 so these two triangles must be similar by the theorem side 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 they have three pairs of sides all are proportional at the same ratio in this case 2.1 what that means is that even though we don't have any angles we know that corresponding angles must also be congruent so Angle A prime would be congruent to angle A, B prime would be congruent to angle B, and C prime would be congruent to angle C. All right, we're going to look at one last example here, looking at side, side, side. So again, here we go, same idea, two triangles. We're given all three sides of both, and uh, we'll look at matching them up. So, well, where's my shortest one? My shortest one's four, so that would match up with two. My next is uh, ten. That's my longest. I'll match that up with 5. And then our th third side, we got 8.5 and 4.8. So again, we look at them, and they look like they might be similar, but now we're going we're gonna to check it. So 4 divided by 2, again, you can probably do that in your head, equals 2. Easy enough. Our next pair of sides, 10 divided by 5, that equals 2 as well. 
So that's good. And we'll look at our third set. 8.5 divided by 4.8. Now it might be hard for you to do in your head. So we'll, uh, we'll bring the calculator up again. Slide over here. 8.5 divided by 4.8. And wait a minute. This one's only 1.77. So these two triangles are not similar. Because even though they have two sides that are proportional at the same ratio, the third side isn't. Again, if we knew the angle in between, uh, that would be sufficient for side angle side. So that's all three of our theorems. Uh, what I will recommend is that you take a look at uh, the side lengths first. Uh, it's usually easier to find out angles than it is to find out sides. So if you're um, given three sides of two triangles, well, it's easy to check the ratios. If you're only given two sides, first thing to look for would be side angle side. And if you're only given one side or no sides, check for angles. So there you have it, three theorems, side, 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 or SSS, angle, uh, side, angle, side, or SAS, and angle, angle. Hope it helps. Check out other videos. Bye-bye. You're still here? It's over. Go home. Go.